And now, young old Skywalker, you will die! <laughs> George, man, he's not giving me anything. He's not doing anything. I'm shocking him. I know you're gonna put the electricity on him. He's not, he's not giving me any reaction. I will go again, Mr. Superstar here. And now, young old Skywalker, you will die! <laughs> Do something, man! Come on, dude! Yo, yo, welcome back to Deep Make Studios. My name is Steven Ole. That's not me, that's my dog. And he played Luke Skywalker in recreating the scene from Return of the Jedi. We recreated this using Deep Make to create Force Lightning and these backgrounds. Let me show you how we did it. First thing you have to do is remove the background. I used key light cleaner and advanced spill suppressor and some mass. Once you do that, you're gonna be ready to create your background using deep make. Come to layer, create a new solid black, name it something. And then you're gonna to wanna to move that to the bottom layer. Come up to effect, come to deep make AI plugin render. Come to select a plugin, come to diffusers. And now I'm gonna change the width and height because I want the aspect ratio to be Something that I could scale up to 1080, but 1080 will take a little bit of time for my computer. So come into prompt, and then it really helps if you are specific with your prompts with AI. And remember, AI is very literal. That's not what I wanted, so I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna add a couple different words, and you can also use the seed, which is like the randomness, to change the look. Now, I'm gonna change some things that still aren't working, a real photo of a dark villain and a future spaceship, dark walls, Uh, with stars and planets outside, because I really want that planet. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to use transform of that layer to put it in place and scale it up. Now you're going to come to layer, new, solid. So you're going to create your lightning on this layer. Then come to effect, deep make AI plugin renderer once more. Select the diffusers plugin, and then I'm going to change my dimensions again. Click on your prompt. I'm gonna do blue lightning on black background, crisp cinematic. Okay, nice. All right, so I like this. First thing I'm gonna do is come to effects and presets and come to curves. I'm just gonna make those blacks more pronounced and thin that lightning out. Right click, come to blend mode and come to add and then use transform position and scale to put this in place. Now you're gonna to come to edit duplicate that layer and essentially you're going to do this frame by frame i'm going to create a single frame now and then i'm going to move it into place to make sure that it's tracking with my hands each time and i'm going to come to the pen tool and i'm going to create a mask around the parts of the lightning that i want to use and so the trick here is that lightning is always kind of changing and branching out i'm going to change the opacity just a little bit make it blend in and you're going to do that frame by frame. So you're going to do Command Shift D and that's going to split the layer. And you're going to do that frame by frame. And then you're just going to change that mask frame by frame. So it looks like the lightning shifting, changing, growing. And that's really the name of the game here. You know, I made mine a little bit thicker and bulkier than the Star Wars was a bit thin but I wanted something to be a little bit more bigger spread here. So you go frame by frame and just change your mask and make sure to give it a variety. Another thing I like to do is I like to duplicate one of the layers and then that way I can make new shapes, right, that expand out because you want it to be a variety. I like what I'm doing, but it's not quite matching. I think I need to add some glow. So come to effects, presets, type in glow and bring that onto your layer. Come to Glow Radius and bring that up. Come to Glow Threshold and bring that up. Glow Intensity and bring that up a little bit as well. So now it's looking nice. Let's copy that, Command C, and then let's Shift, select all the layers we want to add that to, Command V to paste it. Now that'll be on all of the frames that you just created. So now I'm gonna duplicate all those layers and then I'm gonna move them in place for the reverse shot of Luke Skywalker, the dog. And then frame by frame, you're just gonna put them in place. Now I also added some explosions because of course I had to and some smoke, which you can see in another tutorial. Use your opacity and keyframes to make it just right. The final step, add some sound effects and you should be good to go.
While I was working on this, I realized that I didn't quite love my background. So I found a new prompt that added Star Wars and I got something that was much higher quality. And so check it out. Oh, you can still walk off? Now, George, 